Breakfast is served in the garden. What have you got, darling? Three bath of browns with chili, spinach, and a bit of bread. I'm not going to be eating bread at the moment, but we're going to have some nice. beans sprouts. Hot, Looks hot. good. I've got my avocado on toast and a seed and I think these are like They're bean, sprouts. bean sprouts. Yeah. Got my juice, beetroot, carrot, apple, ginger, and then I've got my vitamins for afterwards. Such a glorious day. Where's Dicky hiding? Good morning darlings, about time I properly started this vlog. I've just shown you a few snippets of our day so far. It is Sunday morning. Charlie and I have started the day in a very productive way. We've been to the gym, we've been to the farmer's market, we've been to pick up some bits and bobs from Waitrose, um, and we have just had a lovely breakfast outside. And as you saw, I just gave my boys a little bit of a groom because it's just too hot for little hairy sausage dogs. So I thought I would try to lighten their coat a little bit they both love it they just find it very relaxing <laughs> like a little puppy massage uh charlie and i are about to head to home base we have been away in thailand for about a week and then before that we were in spain for four days so some of our plants sadly have died despite the fact that we did have a few friends come over to do some watering for us so we are going to home base to pick up some more plants and i also want to get a few things like um some new herbs and i'd like to see if i can grow some lemongrass in the garden because i've recently become a little bit obsessed with making my own herbal teas not with a tea bag but with things that I've got in the garden. So at the moment I'm doing um, obviously the easiest one, a fresh mint tea, and then I've been putting a little bit of my rose drops and my, I can never remember the name of it. Oh, what is the name? Um, it's like Alice Cactus, I don't know. My little tincture that I got uh, from the factory trip with Neil's Yard last week, I've been putting that in my tea with a bit of honey and it's so nice, but I want to be able to make my own lemongrass and ginger tea as well. So gonna look out for some bits and bobs to grow in the garden. I have a little wooden box that I want to grow them in and we have our mint and our basil and our other herbs in another little trough. So yeah, that's the plan for this morning. And then this afternoon we've got a barbecue. So I thought I would also share with you some recipes. I'm gonna be making as much as possible um, salad wise in the Thermomix. I'm sure every YouTuber that you're watching is telling you about the heat wave. So um, to keep myself cool-ish, I've got this light, lightweight little dress on. I actually pulled out the lining. This is just from ASOS. I think I was wearing it most of the time in my last, last but one vlog as well. It's just very nice and lightweight hair tied back because I hate having hot hair down my back when it's this warm. So yeah, Charlie's just come downstairs, which means we are ready to go to home base. Just quickly before I forget, this is what I was trying to tell you about earlier that I put in my tea. It's called Agnes Cactus, my little tincture. And it basically helps to balance the hormones, keep you calm, chilled out. So yeah, that was my final ingredient from our health food cupboard that I put in my morning tea. I'll see you later, my little one. See you later. Be a good boy. We're checking out our local plant dealer on Abbeville Road. See, I quite like this part. Sort of like a... Um, is this a hydrangea? Yeah, that's similar to my mum. Yeah, that's really mom. nice. Yeah, that is really nice. Mm. Uh, that is really nice. That'll be quite a lot. It's quite a tall one. Here's our home base hall, hydrangeas, a copper fan, and we've got one of these uh, egg style kettle barbecues to give to my mum in a bright red colour. Back home again from home base, I thought I'd do a little cook with me now because I'm about to start preparing a few things for our barbecue. I've sent Charlie out to the garden to do some watering because he doesn't have much faith in my cooking abilities, so I prefer to just stay in the kitchen by myself and get cracking. I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I'm making and my favourite recipe books to start with. Okay, so as our friends arrive, I wanted to do a nice white bean hummus. Um, so I'm going to do the recipe from the Liz Earl skin book. And then I'm also going to make it with rosemary crackers because we've got some uh, rosemary growing in the garden. They're going to look like this. So I'm going to use this recipe here from Madeline Shaw's Get the Glow book. So that's what we're going to nibble on just to start with. 
And then I just downloaded the Deliciously Ella app. Um, some of the girls that I was with the other day were really recommending the salads on here. One of them is like a quinoa and cashew nut salad, so I'm going to find that one. And I've got most of the ingredients. So first of all, I'm going to head out into the garden, pick some mint for my tea and some rosemary for the crackers. Okay, so I've made my lovely tea and I've just prepared all the ingredients for my hummus. So it's actually going to be a butter bean hummus. So I've got my butter beans. Then you need some extra virgin olive oil. This is our expensive one. It depends how much the recipe needs as to whether I'll use this or our normal one. Um, and then we've got some tahini, which is basically sesame seed paste. Two or three cloves of garlic. I love garlicky things. So does Charlie, so I've gone for three big ones cumin, um, some coriander, and then I also like to add a little bit of paprika to my recipe. So this is all you need. Start by wazzing up the, I'll peel these, um, garlic cloves, stick them in the Thermomix, and then you basically add everything else. Very, very easy. That took me a grand total of five minutes. Easy peasy homemade hummus. Good morning, it is now Monday morning. I didn't vlog properly yesterday afternoon because we just had friends over for a nice little barbecue so I didn't want to be vlogging in everybody's faces. It's nice to just take a little bit of downtime but it was the hottest day of the year yesterday so perfect day for a barbecue although we were all absolutely sweltering the best thing was having a little bottle of the refreshing face mist which we kept in the cooler the ice cooler with the rosé definitely recommend that if you are struggling with heat so refreshing so today it's back to work i have been trying really hard not to work on weekends lately um just to have a little bit more downtime which is almost impossible when you're a blogger but i've been doing it for the past couple of weekends and feeling a lot better for it so today it's back to work and i'm actually going to go to the soho house house in white city today is my office again another thing that i'm trying to do is work not so much from home because then it's nice that when you leave the place that you're working that's kind of like signaling the end of your working day instead of just constantly feeling stressed and like I want to work at home so a few little changes but um yeah I've not actually been to this Soho house before you're not technically allowed to film in there but I will show you bits if I can especially the pool because there's an amazing pool on the rooftop which I thought would be a great place to base myself on a very warm day like today before I go um I wanted to give you a little update on my Holland and Barrett health box, my little vitamins I've been taking. So it's now been a month since I started taking them, so I thought it's a good time to give you an update. And this morning, my second box has also arrived, so I've got my next month's supply of vitamins. So overall, I'd say the effects um, have been most noticeably in my skin. I've noticed my skin, I've just really not needed to wear as much makeup this month. Some of the tablets in here are for skin benefits, some of them are for internal health, which obviously affects the skin. I think I mentioned in my first video, obviously we can use as much amazing skincare as we want, but skin health starts from within. And a few of my tablets are specifically um, focused on that based on the results from my questionnaire that I did when I first signed up to the box. If you're not sure what I'm talking about with the health box or the questionnaire, brief overview, um, basically Holland and Barrett now have this box where you can receive, every month you receive a box and inside you receive a little, sachets of vitamins and these vitamins have been chosen just for you so that they are based on the results of a questionnaire that you do on the Holland and Barrett website ask you about your lifestyle about what you want to achieve whether that's more energy better skin less tiredness more concentration um, if you want to 
improve your immunity, all those kinds of things you answer on the questionnaire. And then you get given um, a selection of vitamins based on your results. So you don't have to spend ages figuring out which vitamins you need because the questionnaire does it all for you. I talked a little bit more about it in a previous vlog, which I will leave linked down below. But um, yeah, I just wanted to tell you how much I'm enjoying doing it and let you know my second box has arrived. And also I thought I'd just tell you a little bit more about the information that you receive in the boxes because this I find really really interesting. Okie dokie so this is my month two box. This is the leaflet that's really interesting and this is personalised based on the vitamins that I've got in my sachets and also the results of my questionnaire so it just tells me a little bit more about what my vitamins are going to help with. This first area of focus is immunity. This I think will be even more important as we go into the winter months. So the tablets in here are helping me to just make sure I've got the nutrients that help to support the body, help support with vitamin C and zinc to help you get through the flu season. This here is more of a lifestyle tip about the balanced diet. It's telling me about consuming the right amounts of food and drink to maintain a healthy body weight, five portions in fruit and veg, whole grains, etc., etc. And then here it's telling me about the individual tablets that I have inside my little sachet so you can see my tablets here this means that I know exactly what I'm taking and then in this booklet here this is all the more scientific information and also what the tablets do so I can see here that the magnesium helps to reduce tiredness I take three of those so that's obviously something that I really need to focus on time release vitamin C with the wild rose hips this also helps with tiredness and fatigue and then the other tablets so you uh, you get the idea but yeah very very interesting to read up on exactly what I'm taking taking and why. So this is my little Monday capsule. I love that they come in these individual little packets because then you can just pop it in your handbag if you don't have time to have breakfast before you leave the house. You shouldn't take these on an empty stomach, it says to take with your first meal of the day. So it's been really good that I can just pop it in my handbag, take it with me so that after my breakfast meeting I can just take my vitamins and also when I've been going on my holidays, on my travels, I've just been taking the right amount of days with me which means I don't need to spend ages like putting together a little concoction of pills in little pill pots. So very, very handy. I'm very pleased with the results so far. So I will keep you updated. Let me know down below if you guys have tried this because I know that lots of you are very intrigued and excited by it from the first video. Um, so yeah, I'll leave all the information about the health box down below. Highly recommend, such a good idea. So now I'm going to drive to Westfield. Wish me luck driving rush hour in London. Um, but yeah, let's do this. Oh, outfit of the day. Um, so I'm wearing this very colorful little, it's kind of like a dress jumpsuit. It's from Revolve. It's got little shorts inside. I will show you a proper outfit of the day later. Um, and it's also like a big skirt and my Valentino sandals. Can't show you very clearly, but I've also got my swimming costume with me in case I get to use the pool at Soho House. So fingers crossed I can get a sunbed, but yeah, let's hit the road. So I just happened to be around Covent Garden just before the RAF fly past. So I thought I'd be a little bit late to my meeting and watch it. You can just see some of the helicopters coming now. The royal family are just down the road on the balcony. But I've got a pretty good view from here. later I'm now at Daniel Galvin getting my blonde topped up looking a little bit scary but it is absolutely worth it for some fresh new highlights I'm being a busy bee as always editing some of the pictures that we took earlier using my fashion mumbler presets I know you guys know how they work by now but it just blows my mind every single time literally just one copy and paste my laptop has crashed so I'm not gonna be able to show you but I'll put it before and after on the screen now oh here we go um, I'm also doing a bit of a countdown because tonight is the night that my vlog goes live where I'm launching my little pouch on the Luxitan website so that's very exciting so I can't wait to see how you guys react to that. I think I've got another five minutes under the heat and then I'm getting my shower and then I'm getting my hair washed, a nice cut to freshen up my style and then I'll catch up with you afterwards. Okay, hair is done. I'm looking a little bit like 
Princess Anne or something of that ilk because um, they've pinned all my hair back to save the blow dry because I'm going to be taking some pictures tomorrow and I want it to still be curled but the colour looks amazing. Daisy did my colour, a Daniel Galvin and Jake did my cut so it's looking fabulous. The style has been utterly refreshed. I am now just running some errands in town. I feel very self-conscious of my crazy hairstyle, but never mind. I've got to go and pick up my Valentino shoes, which have been repaired. Um, and I've also got some bracelets from Monica Veneta. And as I usually do when I'm approaching a YouTube milestone, I'm going to get some engraving done. So I will show you that in Selfridges. Um, so yeah, let's head there now. I've also just come to the Reese Barrett Street to pick up a dress. This, fun fact, is where I used to work at uni. This was my store, and now I get to work with them on my blog. So I feel like I've come a full circle. Very exciting. Ah, back home again. My errand running turned out to be a bit of an epic fail because by the time I got to Monica Veneta, it was five to seven. Um, they shut at seven and they said it would take about half an hour to do the engraving. But actually, I will show you the bracelets because they are beautiful. And then when I got to Valentino, it was two minutes past seven and the shop shut at seven, so I haven't got my bracelets engraved and I haven't picked up my shoes. Real pain in the bum, because this was gonna be a real afternoon of like ticking off our jobs. Um, but yeah, I will show you the bracelets and I will show you the beautiful dress from Reese as well that I'm going to be wearing to a dinner with them tomorrow. Um, and also I've just picked up some blogger mail, so I thought I would quickly show you some of that. I'm gonna have to do it handheld though, because I'm on my very broken camera and it does not work with a tripod anymore. I have ordered a new one, so I will be able to do proper tripod videos very soon. But let me quickly show you a few of the things that I picked up from Doddle because I went to pick up my blogger mail this afternoon on the way home as well, or this evening. It's now half past eight and I'm pretty much ready for bed. <laughs> So this arrived, um, this is actually something that I've ordered from Amazon, not a blogger mail, but it's a homeopathic, <laughs> so that really, um, slowly, a homeopathic psychology book. It's all about different um, ways that you can use um, natural oils and things like that to cure any ailments. So I'm going to enjoy looking through this. It does seem a little bit like a textbook, so hopefully it's not too hard to read, but I'm quite interested in all of that, so I thought I'd give that a read. Also have a blogger mail here from Victoria's Secret. This looks like the world's most comfortable bra and I'm all about the comfort and coziness. Um, it's got a little bit of padding in there as well. It just looks really, really nice. Uh, so this is my Monica Vinida collection. Um, they have released a new style of bracelet. You guys know I just love their bracelets. And this is specifically for 10 years of friendship or 10 years of friendship bracelets as the brand celebrates its 10 year anniversary this year. And to celebrate that, they've launched this beautiful new bracelet style. I think it's called the Nura, but don't quote me on that one. There are different colors of the string, the thread that you can get around it. And then obviously this huge surface area is absolutely perfect for engraving. Now, if you've watched my videos for a long time, you'll know that I use my Monica Veneta bracelets as kind of like a reward or a motivation for hitting milestones on YouTube. So for example, this top one that I'm wearing says quarter of a million on it and this is the one that I got when I had about 200,000 subscribers as a congrats for reaching very soon at 250,000. Um, my first Monica Veneta friendship bracelet I had engraved with 100,000 but I actually only had 40,000 when I did it, so that was me kind of using the secret, but I've spoken about that loads before. This one, I'm approaching 300,000 subscribers, so I thought I would get 300,000 engraved on the back of this one, and then I have another one of these bracelets to give to a friend for National Friendship Day, which is on the 30th, I believe, of this month, so I'm gonna have to decide Oh, <laughs> dicky. Gonna have to decide what lovely message I'll get engraved on the back of there, but that is beautiful. I also got this blogger mail from Nespresso. As you may know, Charlie and I are both Nespresso ambassadors. We love Nespresso so, so much. Um, and they've sent us this amazing kit full of bits and bobs to create the perfect iced coffee, which is amazing, amazing timing. Um, I think this is the larger capsule. Oh no, this is an ice cube tray. Very, very handy. These are the capsules which are specific for iced coffee. I'm really craving one right now, but if I have coffee more than like four hours before bedtime, I don't get much sleep. So I'm gonna make myself one of those in the morning. 
And then these are Nomad Collection coffee cups, but they are for traveling with your iced coffee. So you can like infuse your coffee um, and travel around with it in these, which is super handy. And as you know, I'm trying to really reduce my plastic. So reusable coffee cups like this are amazing. So thank you very much to Nespresso. I also had this blogger mail from Beauty Blender and it is the BBF, Beauty's Best Friend, um, Beauty Blender collection. So you get the two in this cute little heart holder. I'm a huge fan of Beauty Blender. This is a really nice thing to share with a friend. A very, very cute idea. And then underneath, you can see here, this is my invitation for the Reese event, which is going on tomorrow, the 11th of July beautiful invitation. This kind of reminds me of when I worked at Mulberry. One of our fashion show invitations was butterfly themed and we made this amazing like magnetic butterfly that would hover on the tip of your finger. It was so cute. So this is the autumn winter women's wear collection presentation and dinner tomorrow with the women's wear director. So excited for that. And this is what I'll be wearing, this beautiful new lace dress from their collection. I think I'll actually give it a try now. It does have a slip underneath, a little silky slip, which I will wear to control my modesty, but this looks gorgeous, so let's give it a try. I'm sorry about my hair, and I'm sorry about the mess behind me, um, but also, I put on the new NARS lip balm earlier, and it is so nice. It's just given my lips a beautiful tint, and it's really nourishing, so big fan of that. Here is the dress. It is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a low drop waist, and then it flares out at the bottom. I love the style of this. It's like a lace overlay, and then you can see quite a contemporary silhouette of the underlay underneath. It's not like underlay underneath. It's a bit of a tongue twister. Underlay, underlay. Um, oh, you can tell I'm tired because I'm talking absolute rubbish. But yeah, how adorable is this? Really love the fabric on this. The detail is just absolutely beautiful. It's got like these flowers and then it's a little bit almost Gatsby style. Big fan of that. So I'll be wearing this tomorrow night for the parte dinner. Um, so yeah, that is everything that was in my PO box and that I got today. I think I'm going to end the vlog here. It's been quite a random one, like just odd bits and bobs happening, but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're still enjoying the vlogs because um, I'm enjoying making them. Let me know how you feel about vlogs down below if you want them to be weekly or you don't mind little couple of day updates like this one. But yeah, I'm going to go and take my makeup off um, and watch some Love Island. So I will see you later. Thank you for watching. Bye.